Hello, my name is Stephen Schnell and I'm the Executive Director here of the Science Zone in Casper, Wyoming. And today on Daily Dose of Science, we're going to learn about and grow some crystals. Well, we actually won't be growing crystals today. We're going to start our crystal farm and let them grow over the next few days. Now, I'm sure you already know, but a crystal or crystalline solid is a solid material whose constituents like atoms or molecules or ions are arranged in a highly ordered microscopic structure forming a crystalline lattice that extends in all directions. Now, let's talk about a few common crystals you might find around your home. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, oh, we got some sugar, we got baking soda, we've got uh, table salt, sodium chloride, Let's see, uh, we got some borax, um, Epsom salt, lots of different things around your home actually are made up of crystals. So when we put them under a microscope slide, we'll be able to see that structure a little more closely. So come on, let's take a look. All right, so now we're gonna make some crystals and you can follow along at home. All you'll need are two beakers or glasses the same size, a pair of scissors, a ruler or other measuring device, a handful of paper clips, some food coloring, yarn, baking soda, a container to mix it all in, and a tray. Now when you're doing this, I would recommend that you have some adult supervision to help you along the way. So first, we're gonna be taking our baking soda, which I have here in this beaker, and we're gonna be adding it to some boiling water. And because my beakers over here are about 250 milliliters, I am going to be making sure that I have about 400 milliliters of a super saturated solution. So, first step is to take our boiling water and pour into our beaker. Now that we have our 400 milliliters of water in our mixing beaker, we're gonna slowly add in some baking soda and mix it all around. When we're doing this, we're wanting to make sure that all of that baking soda gets dissolved and be becomes super saturated in our boiling water. And you'll notice we're adding a little bit at a time and stirring a lot. That way hopefully we have everything mixed up before we add even more. And you'll know that your solution is super saturated when no more solid will dissolve in your liquid. Now that looks super saturated to me. So what we're gonna do now is let this sit and cool for about 20 minutes. While we're doing that, we're actually going to do this again with salt, borax, sugar, and Epsom salt. Because we're going to do a little experiment here and over the next week, we're gonna see which one of these grows the biggest crystals. So, I better get to work. All right, it looks like our solution may be super saturated now. So I'm still getting some of those solids showing up on the edge of the glass. All right, and we will set this over here to cool. We'll put our label on it so we know which one is which. 
we'll get back to that one in a moment. Next, we're gonna try it with salt or sodium chloride. Regular old table salt, NaCl. And since you're working with really hot liquids, again, you wanna make sure that you have a parent or guardian or other adult helping you with this so you don't burn yourself. All right, and again, we'll take our label, put it on this beaker so we know what's in it. And then last but not least, we can do sugar. All right, I'm seeing some sugar crystals and granulars that aren't being dissolved, which means we are at our super saturation point. All right. Go ahead and put our label back on this beaker here. All right. And now we play the waiting game. We are going to let them sit for at least 20 minutes to go ahead and cool down. And then we'll divide them into our other containers. We'll be right back in about 20 minutes. I'll just hang out under here. Oh, all right. We've let our super saturated solutions cool down. Now we're going to divide our liquids into their respective containers. So we've got containers labeled here for baking soda grab our baking soda beaker and you can see maybe you can hopefully you can there is a bunch of baking soda on the bottom and we're gonna leave that there so we're gonna pour the baking soda direct the baking soda water excuse me directly into our beakers being sure to get equal parts into each container. All right, and then all of that baking soda that's left over, that right there is the stuff that would not dissolve in our liquid. So again, I'm gonna try to even this out a bit. All right, that looks about even to me. We're going to want to leave these beakers for about a week in a place where they won't be disturbed or bumped in any way. Once you have your super saturated solution divided into your beakers, the next step is to place them on a tray a few inches apart from one another. Next, we're going to add some string or yarn to connect each beaker. Cut a length of yarn that will allow the ends to be fully submerged in the solution and allow for a gentle smile to form in the yarn between the two beakers. To help weight the string down, we'll grab some paper clips, tie them to each end, and that will help weigh down the yarn so it doesn't float up. But before we put our yarn in our solution, we're gonna jazz things up a bit to ensure you can really see the crystals as they grow and travel up the yarn over the next few days. We're gonna add some food coloring to each beaker and stir it in real good. Rinsing off our stirring rod between so we don't mix our colors. Now, gently place the string into the solution and get that nice smile to form between each beaker. So, we've just finished one of our solutions and we'll repeat this process for all of our super saturated solutions. Borax, sugar, salt, and Epsom salt. And remember to keep your workspace nice and clean. A clean workspace is a happy workspace. And as you pour, to ensure accuracy, it's important to get eye level so you can see exactly where the level is. 
Feel free to use different colors for each of your different solutions. All right, now that we've finished with that, we're gonna put these in a safe place where they won't be bumped or disturbed. And we'll check back in on these crystals in about a week. Be sure to share your photos of the crystals and their progress on our Facebook page. Well, I certainly hope that you have had some fun with crystals today. And uh, we will see you back here uh, in about a week. Until then, thank you for joining our Daily Dose of Science and stay curious out there. What am I gonna do for about a week? Well, I'll just uh, hang out over here. Goodbye now. <laughs>